book I am using is a Daiichi 1270 in size 20, and the thread is UTC Ultra Thread 70 in red. Start your thread at the eye of the hook. Now attach some gray microtubing with a pinch wrap. Then stretch the tubing tight and start wrapping down the hook shank about to the bend of the hook. Make sure to keep the tubing on top of the hook. Now wrap back up the hook shank and it helps to spin the thread to make it flat again. You really do want a smooth wrap on this. Once you reach back up to the eye of the hook, then wrap back down the hook again, but only about two thirds the way down before starting back up. Unspin your thread again to flatten it if need be. Go back down the hook shank again, about a third of the way down, and back up. And this will create a nice taper on the fly. Now start wrapping the tubing around the hook, leaving a space in between each wrap. Also, I like stretching the tubing out a bit at first and gradually giving less tension as I wrap up. This will help create even more taper. If you didn't use your bobbin cradle with the rotary feature on your vise, then just unwrap the thread a few times before capturing the tubing. Once the tubing is captured, stretch it tight and snip off the waist. Now take a bit of black superfine dubbing, and I break this in half to make the fiber shorter, which is easier to dub in. Then start dubbing tightly onto your thread. Then start wrapping your dubbing around the hook evenly, creating a small dubbing ball for a black head on the fly. Now you can whip finish your fly. This fly is technically finished. However, I like adding a bit of bone dry UV curing resin to the whip finish. I use a bodkin and place a small mount on the whip finish on both sides. If you added too much like I did and got some in the eye of the hook, just take some crystal flash and put it through the eye of the hook. Then run it up and down and remove the resin from the eye before curing it. Taking this extra step will make the fly a bit more durable and last through many fish strikes. And that is the Big Mac. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Check out the description section for a detailed list of materials I used today. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.